Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I hope everything's going well. My name is Melissa Samways. Welcome. If you are new here in my channel, don't forget to subscribe. This is really important. So for today's video, I have to show you my beautiful model and this is Isadora. Oh my god, she's so pretty, so young, about 16 years. So I wanted to create a more fresh and soft look on her. So I'm gonna start off this makeup look with the Liquid Glass by Fair Sally and it creates a very radiant effect in my skin. I really love this product to use on me and also in my models. So I'm gonna apply a few drops all over her face and then I'm gonna just spread it out using a brush by Sigma. This product is a must-have for me, very moisturizing and especially when I use matte foundations, it just looks so good. Next, I'm gonna use the Skin Tune Blur, also by Fair Sally, and this is also a must-have for me. So I'm gonna apply in the center of her face and spread it out using the same brush. This product acts as a primer and also helps the makeup look to last longer. And now is everything ready to apply the foundation, so I'm gonna use All Nighter today and this is by Urban Decay. I'm gonna apply just a little bit because you don't need too much foundation and this foundation is already full coverage. So I'm gonna apply especially where I want the focus of this foundation and then I'm gonna just blend using this Max Kabuki brush by Sigma. And this is how it looks, now I'm gonna just blend a little more her skin using the Beauty Blender by Sigma Beauty, just bouncing the Beauty Blender all over her skin to remove the excess product. Conceal and highlight, I'm gonna use my favorite concealer by NARS and this is the shade Light 2, I believe, in vanilla. I don't know, I'm gonna put down below in the description box for you guys, but I really love this concealer, for me it's one of the best. And here, as you can see, to keep it natural, I don't need to use a very light shade, it looks so natural in her skin, and also I'm not applying a lot of product. So I'm applying what I see that is enough, and just blending the product in her skin. So to create more depth and definition in her face, I'm gonna use a little bit of cream contour and I'm gonna blend using the same blender. This is 3D HD by Sigma. And this is how it looks when it's all blended. So now I'm gonna just set the skin using the Laura Mercier powder. So I'm gonna just set the face and use a little bit of product cause I wanna keep the glow into her face. Set the contour, I'm gonna use the Sculpt palette by Sigma Beauty and the same brush that I was applying powder in her face and I'm gonna just set the contours area where I applied the cream contour previously and I'm gonna apply a little bit of product, also I'm using the lightest shade of contour in this palette. You can skip this step, but the contour will add back the definition of her face and also add a little more definition, creating a beautiful effect, especially in pictures or even in this video, as you can see. And now I'm gonna do the brows. To do this eyebrow today, I want also a natural finish, so I'm gonna use the new launch by Sigma Beauty, the duo powders in blonde and also the pomade in the shade medium just to create the soft lines not too much because her eyebrows is already very full and beautiful so i don't have to add too much product and now i'm gonna just set these brows using the clear brow gel and this is by sigma and this is how it looks so now i'm gonna just add a little bit of lip balm in her lips i take off the foundation 
And to begin this eye makeup look, I'm gonna apply first the eyeshadow base. This is Paint Pot Painterly by MAC. I'm gonna apply a little bit of product using my clean finger because I like it, I like how it blends. And next I'm gonna highlight the brow bone using the eyeshadow called Vanilla, also by MAC. And I'm gonna apply focusing this eyeshadow in the tear duct area and also in the brow bone. To apply this eyeshadow, I'm using a normal shader brush. Next, I'm gonna use as my transition shade this color called Paper Doll by Mitchell's Cosmetics. It's a very beautiful pink shade. And I'm gonna apply in my crease and the outer corner, also a little bit in the lower lash line using a blending brush. And now to add the next color, you can use the same blending brush, but I got a new one because I was doing this tutorial for you guys. So I'm gonna apply this beautiful blush by The Balm Cosmetics in the eyelid and also in the lower lash line and i'm gonna mix this blush with the transition shade a little bit and to darken this look a little bit i'm gonna use a gray eyeshadow i don't want to use black for this look so i'm gonna go for a gray shade just to add a little more depth and dimension so I'm gonna apply using a firm brush this eyeshadow in the roots of the lashes in the upper lashes and also in the lower lash line to highlight the inner corners of her eyes I'm gonna apply this highlighter by Melt Cosmetics and this is stunning oh my god look this color guys I'm gonna use this highlighter in her face as well to finish the eyes before I apply the fake lashes I'm gonna apply a little bit of the shade Bubbly by Colourpop Cosmetics and next I'm gonna apply the blush so I'm gonna use the blush palette by Sigma Beauty and I mix two colors the pink and the coral shade and I think this palette is very pigmented so you gotta be careful when you are using this but don't worry in case you made a little mistake you can just make it softer again by using the beauty blender that it was using before to apply the foundation and just dab it right on top of the blush area and contour and highlighter so to finish the face i'm gonna use the same highlighter that i was using before and to apply this highlighter i'm using a big fluffy brush And to finish off this look, I'm gonna apply a liquid lipstick by Too Faced Cosmetics. This is from the Melted Collection and the color is Child Star. This is a matte lipstick, it's so beautiful. So I'm gonna apply this nude color with a little bit of gloss on top. And this is from Huda Beauty in the shade Snobby. I'm gonna apply a little bit just in the center of her lips. And that's it for this look, my lovies. I really hope that you enjoy. I love how the look turned out. I think she's so pretty without makeup and also with just a little bit of makeup. She don't need too much at all and she looks stunning in this glam look. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I see you later in the next tutorials. Comment down below what you think of this makeup look. Also, don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and hit the notification bell. And i see you later in the next tutorials. Mwah.